hello uh, let us solve this uh, problem here the problem statement is a control unit generates a signal from a unit sized inverter the signal must drive unit sized loads in each bit slice of 64 bit data path the designer can add inverters to the buffer to buffer the signal to drive the large load assuming polarity of the signal does not matter what is the best number of inverters to add and what delay can be achieved so here uh, we have uh, one inverter we have and it is a unit sized inverter so one and it is driving a load of 64 you can see 64 bit data uh, path that means 64 so one uh, the input inverter and you have a capacitor of 64 now the question is how to drive this how to drive this load how many stages uh, we need and if you have multiple stages and what is the size of each gate okay and we can use uh, any number of inverters to construct a buffer so that means the assume polarity of the signal does not matter so that means you can have two inverter you can have five inverters so polarity doesn't matter only thing is we have to drive this one and which is the best number of inverters to add how many state what is the best number of states and what delay can be achieved okay so what we'll do we will consider first case one uh, in which uh, case one let us consider n equal to one okay so n equal to one then let us calculate g g is only one here that is inverter and its electrical uh, sorry logical effort is one and h is nothing but 64 divided by one that is 64 and you don't have any branches here b equal to one so total f is nothing but g b and h if you do it is nothing but 64 okay and parasitic delay you have one because only one inverter you have so total delay so total delay if you take it is the formula tells n f cap plus capital p n is one f is uh, uh, f cap is nothing but 60 uh, 4 to the power of 1 by n that is 1 by 1 plus p so p is nothing but 1 so this together it will be 65 so delay is 65 if you use one inverter one stage okay so now let us uh, find let us consider case 2 where we have uh, two inverters or two stages we have so 64 okay so here one unit size but we don't know uh, size of this one okay so what uh, let it be x let it be x okay so what is the case 2 and here n equal to 2 so now g the g is logical effort of each stage that is 1 into 1 that is 1 only and branch you don't have that's why only 1 and h is 64 divided by 1 that is nothing but 64 okay now uh, the parasitic uh, capacitance we have 2 here so uh, one is uh, the parasitic capacitance of this in, uh, inverter we know it is one so one plus one that is two so total delay is uh, n uh, f to the power of one by n plus p so we know n equal to two and f equal to 60 
64 to the power 1 by 2 and plus 2 so this is nothing but uh, 18 you will get 18 so delay sorry delay is 18 in the case 2 so case 2 is better than the case 1 let us have one more uh, stage so that means inverter 1 and inverter 2 and one more inverter and this size is 64 and size of this is 1 okay so for this we will consider that is case 3 case 3 n equal to 3 so what is a g g is again 1 1 into 1 into 1 and b is 1 and h is it is again 64 so delay and parasitic capacitance you will have 3 here so total delay is n that is 3 into 64 to the power of 1 by 3 plus 3 okay so this is nothing but 15 so the um, delay is minimum when three stages are considered let us try one more that is n equal to 4 and let us see out of this which one is the better one okay so case 4 we will take um, where n equal to 4 so this all same g equal to n equal to 4 means we have to uh, consider four stages four stages we have to consider and uh, that is connected to um, four stage and finally it is connected to a capacitor of 64 okay so g equal to 1 and b is again 1 and h is 64 and your delay that is d equal to n means 4 here and 64 to the power of 1 by 4 uh, plus 4 parasitic capacitance so if you calculate this this will be 4 into 2.8 plus 4 and it is equal to 15.3 so delay is little bit more compared to 3 so we can tell um, uh, the best stage best stage uh, for this so best stage here uh, the third one that is when n equal to 3 then you have delays 15 however n equal to 4 also you get a delay which is almost equal to the previous one so n equal to 3 is 15 n equal to 4 equal to 15.3 so we can actually consider either so suppose if you consider the fourth one uh, what are the sizes of the gate we will see similar way you can calculate if the third uh, option is or third stage n equal to 3 is chosen what are the gates that also can be calculated so for this problem let us consider the fourth case and calculate the uh, inverter size calculate the inverter size okay so consider uh, case 4 that is n equal to 4 now for uh, finding out we know that f cap is nothing but uh, 2.8 here we know that last uh, the fourth one here f that is 64 to the power of uh, 1 4 or i can rewrite 64 to the power of 1 by 4 it is 2.8 okay so uh, here we can write uh, gi and hi equal to f cap we can write but we can generalize one formula we can uh, create a formula so that will be easy to calculate the uh, capacitance every time we no need to separately substitute and do so this is generalized formula will be g i and c i is c out put of uh, i -th, uh, stage and c in of i -th stage that equal to f cap or we usually know c out c in we have to calculate c in of i -th stage will be f cap uh, sorry mm, this will be c in of i -th stage means this you have to take here f cap will come down so that is 
c out of i into g i divided by f cap so this formula we can directly use and we can calculate all the sizes so let us calculate the fourth stage inverter size so that means c in of 4 so c in of 4 is c out of 4 and g4 divided by f cap so that means c out 4 we know that is 64 fourth stage output okay and g4 we know it is 1 and divided by 2.8 so that is nothing but uh, 23 so size of this will be 23 this uh, uh, it's actually 22.8 actually 22.8 but we will approximate it to 23 similarly c in 3 if you calculate this is c out 3 into g3 divided by f cap so this will be uh, the c out 3 just now we calculated that is nothing but c uh, out 3 we have to calculate that c out 3 is nothing but c in 4 so c in 4 we have calculated that is 23 so 23 into 1 divided by 2.8 so that is equal to 8.21 or i can approximate it to 8 last one we have to calculate that is c in 2 that is nothing but c out 2 g 2 divided by f cap so c out 2 is nothing but c in 3 that is 8 into 1 divided by 2.8 uh, that is nearly equal to uh, so again if you divide this one 8 by 2.8 it comes around 2.8 okay so so uh, now we can once we know the input uh, the gate size we can calculate the individual uh, transistor size also okay so this is the solution for this problem thank you